and we're back. Now that we've harvested everything, by the way this is post commentary, just in case you're wondering how I'm managing to predict my future, I'm going this way. Hooray! So now we've got some bread, we've fed up on bread, we're going to Vrinstar. Not Brinstar, Vrinstar. <coughs> we hear all these monsters and we have an interesting <coughs> greeting. Let's see. Everything is a mess. This is actually a bonus that I think, oh god, this is going to start terrible and get worse. It's actually not too bad, because now zombies and creepers can't actually do much. Let's see, well, they can't climb. Hooray! This can climb, but it's not going to get too far. And this bit, this bit, in theory, is easier, though I'm at the moment I'm not making it look as easy as it should be. So getting rid of, we're basically capturing the area because at the moment we've got some terrible visibility thanks to all this bamboo and all the cacti being slightly dangerous. So the first thing to do is just try and chop down all the trees. Wow, there's so many like random bits of clay and bamboo just everywhere. So I'll pop down some nice torches and destroy some of these bits and pieces. Nice all the pumpkins giving us some bonus light. I hear people called Brian like pumpkins. And there goes a spider. Now we're gonna try and get rid of some more of these bits and pieces. Get rid of that bamboo quickly. Ah, oh, what am I doing? And there's a skeleton somewhere. I can't actually see him until I realise he's over there. I did notice him, like, really. I was just talking from my perspective last time. Perspective. Okay. Now I'm considering what the best solution is to get up there. Now there is actually two routes up there. One actually leads to what I would consider a much more dangerous room for bonus items instead of the easy room that has the wall. So what I'm going to do is now I've chopped down the entire bamboo forest with my with my bare knuckles or whatever I was using. I didn't really take much notice. I'm going to consider what the best solution for this area is. I could dig up through the tree, which is what I did last time. But then I've decided to come up with a totally new strategy of Amazing Awesome, which you'll see once I've stopped wandering around. As you can see down there, I don't want to go down there. I just don't, simply because there's so many monsters. So what's my awesome strategy going to be? There's a zombie up there. I'm going to burn the tree. This might be the worst strategy I've ever had, maybe. I realise I could really do with the wood in this area, just in case I do need to make a new, new set of weapons, for example. But no. Instead, I'm just going to do that. So now, we're going to have a fight with some extra skeleton. And here comes probably the most fail ever. <coughs> Yep, just got run by two of those guys, it was terrible. So now we're going to do the usual thing and try and rush for it, but we realise oh, maybe we could do with an extra sword or something. So we, as you can see, I will now craft incredibly quickly a sword. Hooray! Yes, I'm going to use a furnace to craft it, I'm going to forge with a sword. As you can see, I'm slightly panicky, and there we go. So now I feel as though I'm prepared. Uh, you, 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 you don't think that now that I've just sighed, because I, I know what's going to happen. Now you guys might know too, or maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm. Bluffing. We'll just have to see. Let's get some random meat. The plants have grown a little since I um, I noticed. I wasn't really caring about that. I was more worried about jumping in that lava. 
So we're like, yeah, there'll only be two enemies. What the heck? Seriously, where did all these guys come from? So now I'm like, oh, I can move away. Oh wait, no I can't. And now I'm just destroyed, basically. So I'm now like, oh, I'll defend something, hopefully. I didn't stand a chance. So what do I do to counter this? I let the terrain build slowly. Slowly but surely. And we decide, right, we're going to need some better resources. So we bring out the iron. In fact, I believe we use up every bit of iron now. Which is probably a bad thing, considering we have a harder challenge coming up. Which is, you know, oh, we I've noticed we have a lot of bone meal up there. May have to um, try, but probably forget next time. So now I'm going to try and build something. And I realise, oh, I can build some pants and some boots. Which is great. So we put those on. I make a comment that I should avoid being headshot at this point. And we head down. Now with our rather iron tastic attire. We try to sprint, but we seem to be failing at sprinting a lot, even though it's not really very sprint worthy this place. So rushing down. After all our time is on something. Might have been I could have taken note of how long it's been actually. I mean this video in total that I'm watching now is six minutes, so it's obviously been a few minutes since I started, so you're looking at maybe what the fourth minute we're on we really need to get some of that stuff obviously i picked some of it up but right now i'm threading this but i see very little now which is good so obviously um everything's despawned or killed each other <laughs> as they seem to be doing now i can pick up all my lovely gear bring down mr creeper bring down mr creeper number two bring down Mr. Friendly Slider and grab all of our stuff again. I don't know if I've lost anything in the process there, but all I know is that that bread on the edge, that bridge is, bridge, that bread is living on the edge. Hooray. So now we're going to contemplate how the heck do we get up there now we've burnt the tree down. And now Oh, there's actually, I've noticed there's quite a bit of dirt around here, now that I've looked around. I I can see, you know, things, things that you wouldn't necessarily see, but would see now. So I'm going to use all this random clay that I've collected to make some bonus blocks. And I'm going to head up above the um, little bridge-like section. And as I try, I'm going to make a little barrier, because I remember from the previous videos skeletons aren't my friends when I'm trying to build pillars up or pillars aloft they just kind of go oh look he's on a pillar bye bye so now I have fun playing with this torch I'm a bit paranoid that there might be monsters directly above me so I continue to dig upwards and then I realize ooh a creeper could just jump down there so I'm like what, what do I do I know I'll um, panic Grab some more of that. Rather than using the cobblestone, I didn't want to use that simply because, I don't know, there goes some some more clay, but I didn't want to use that because obviously tools are more important than bricks. So we're now covered in darkness, thinking, what the heck are we, do what the heck are we doing? To be honest, I think I think I'd lost it at this point. <laughs> I, was, I, I was just like, this strategy doesn't make any sense. Who the heck are you? And then I got to the top. Things are still burning, which is nice. It's a bonus free light source. Now we shall escape our confines. And now we're wondering, right, well, we don't really have much we can do from here, and there's monsters all around us, and there could be spiders, and scary monsters, and all sorts. So we try and get up, and we come up with the greatest idea that may or may not work. I don't know. Will it work? I don't know. Okay. So, we're gonna basically go up here. Like so. Hooray. Woo. Now we play around in the water for a good amount of time. 
and get injured. And we continue. And then I cut to this point because, well, I've made it. So I'll see you guys when we actually have some live commentary next time. See you then.